this is the time when you should learn to pray for yourself. You know what I'm saying? God has given you time away from the distractions. You got, you got a B on your shoe. You know, away from the distractions, like that one. You know, um, away from the, you know, the everyday hustle. Things that we, we, we came to think were important. We're finding out haven't been that important at all. You know? Haven't been that important at all. You know? And um, sort of realize that it's really important. It's having our loved ones around us. Having our loved ones with us. You know? Close counters. You know? Just, just getting back to who we are. Who we're supposed to be. The worst is peace. Be still. That's the word. Peace. Be still. I mean, that's, that's in the Bible. Those are not my words. That's in the Bible. You know what I'm saying? And we, we, we've gotten that. <laughs> he forced us into it, you know? But, you know, that's what's going to happen. That's what's going to happen, you know? You know, listen. God's going to make you listen. Believe that. He's going to sit you down. He will sit you down. And that's just what it is. This is what it is. <clears throat> There's some that were uh, called home to God. And uh, others who became aware of the grace that God was willing to give them by bringing them back from the brink of death. Scarface. You mean? Scarface. Making a recovery. Love you, brother. You know? On the other hand, Fred the Godson. He's with God. Mm, God's son. Come on. Come on. He's with God right now. You know? My condolences to the family. My condolences to the family of uh, everyone that's lost someone. You know, as a family member or a friend. You know, we feel that pain. But we feel that pain because... We're going to miss them being with us. You know? If you, if you think about where they are, hey, they're in a better place. <laughs> they're in a better place. Hmm. <clears throat> the word says, when I next observe the oppressions that take place under the sun, I saw the tears of the oppressed. And they have no one to comfort them. Their opportunities will power, but they have no one to comfort them. So I declare that the dead who have already died are more fortunate than the living who are still alive. But happier than both are those who have never existed, who haven't witnessed the terrible things that happen under the sun. Ecclesiastes 4. That's the word. I mean, like, like, like. The best thing that we can hope for, the most important thing we can hope for, or pray for, or ask for, is that our desires coincide with God's will. Because at the end of the day, at the beginning of the day, it's going to be God's will. It's always going to be God's will. And you try to understand what his, you know, uh, why he does what he does, and he's going to end up with a headache. Just do the right thing. Do the right thing. You know what I'm saying? Ecclesiastes 3. There is a season for everything. And a time for every matter under the heavens. A time for giving birth and a time for dying. A time for planting and a time for uprooting what was planted. A time for killing and a time for healing. A time for tearing down and a time for building up. A time for crying and a time for laughing. A time for mourning and a time for dancing. A time for throwing stones and a time for gathering stones. A time for embracing and a time for avoiding embraces. A time for... Ooh, Whoa, a time for embracing, a time for avoiding embraces. What? Come on, come on, come on, come on. A time for searching and a time for losing. A time for keeping and a time for throwing away. A time for tearing, a time for repairing. A time for keeping silent and a time for speaking. A time for loving and a time for hating. A time for war, a time for peace. I mean... Like I said, it goes back to, you know, you're going to start with a prayer, you're going to do this with a prayer. Yo. There are no words more powerful than the book. And your prayer 
Your own prayer will do a lot better than someone else praying for you. Who hasn't, whoever hasn't given their life to Jesus yet, whoever hasn't surrendered all the way, though there may be some of you who don't know how, I'm going to walk you through that right now. If you're serious about it, you don't got to be serious. But they, if, you know, if you don't want to do it, don't just, hey. But if you're serious about it right now, giving your life to the Lord. Say it with me. Dear Lord Jesus, I realize I'm a sinner. I repent for my sins. And right this moment, I receive you as my Lord and Savior. It's that simple. It's that simple, but you gotta mean it. But you gotta mean it. You gotta mean it. Everything that's happened is God's will. Don't try to understand it. Just, 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 just get that relationship with him. Get that relationship with him. Get that relationship with him. And, and, and even the things you don't understand won't be as hard on you as it would be if you try to understand. It's crazy. I woke up this morning and it's like, with, with, with chills, with chills, you know, God put it on my heart to speak. Say so this, you know, this, this is new to me. This is, you know, that's not what I do. Come on, I, don't, I ain't, I ain't, you know, with showing what everybody what I'm doing every minute. That's just not me. That's not how I get down. You know what I'm saying? You see me when you see me. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna change. I'm not gonna change. I'm not gonna change. You know? I love who I am. I'm God's child. We all are. We all are. If you don't know it, you're gonna miss out on 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 so many blessings that he has for you. That he has for you. And it comes from insight. It just come from it just comes from being aware. Being aware. The word says, "My people perish for lack of knowledge." Perish is not always dying. It's being lost. Not being able to found, not, not being able to be found. Hmm. Ecclesiastes 3, 16. I saw something else under the sun. In the place of justice, there was wickedness. In the place of what was right, there was wickedness again. I thought to myself, God will judge both religious, both righteous and wicked people. Because it's a time for every matter and every deed. Oh, he's telling you right here. He's telling you. Let me do what I do and fall in. That's what it boils down to, man. Again, you know, the, every album is a prayer. You know, and, and, and normally I grasp at every opportunity to pray. I'm saying I won't. But it's more important that you learn how to pray for yourself. Because you might not always have somebody with you that can pray. You might not always be able to get in touch with somebody that can say a prayer for you. And you need a prayer. God has given you the time. He's given you the time to get closer to him. To become familiar with, 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 with you know, what's going on. What's, how are you supposed to move? We've lost a lot of people. And again, my condolences go to their families. But like the word said, they're better off than we are. When you think about it, what hurts the most is that we won't, we won't see them again. They won't be here with us. Because we're suffering. Yeah. We're suffering. But as long as you got God, it's going to be all right. With God, whatever it is, whatever it is, it's going to be all right. When you truly have God, whatever it is, 
it's gonna be all right. Because you don't know that's God's will. The story's already been written. It's already been written. It speaks to him before we were born, and it refers to after we're already gone. What makes, what makes us think we can change any aspect of what was already written? Let's get into the book. Get into the word. Get into the word. Get into the word. And it'll make whatever you're going through a lot easier to deal with. I mean, you know, I ain't gonna sit here and beat you in the head all day. You know what I'm saying? You know, I said what I have to say. God bless.